The most obvious influence is batik itself. It is derived from the Javanese word amba, which means to write and the Malay word titik, or a drop of liquid, a point. Tang must have found the essence of batik familiar with his own Chinese ink painting Xia Yi style, Xia means to write and Yi the meaning. Xia Yi is the act of writing the meaning or essence of the subject matter, or drawing the spirit of beings. This similarity makes it easier for the fusion of Chinese and Malay visual cultures. Both visual styles aim to depict motifs in a stylized or abstract manner, in order to capture the essence of the subject matter rather than depicting them realistically. Both visual styles also rely on rhythmic linework to suggest forms or delineate silhouettes, thereby giving form to the subject matter at hand. Batik influence can also be seen in the myriad use of batik patterns. The figures are donning geometric checkered patterns, repeated bands of vine-like patterns, and arabesque patterns lined with dots. The woman on the bottom left is also wrapped in sarong with a uniquely Malaysian pattern, where large floral motifs are printed on a plain background. The figures are also imprinted with lyrical lines, as seen on the men's muscular limbs and skeletal chests, as though batik is an inseparable part of their identity. Another key influence is Cubism, a Western geometric art movement founded by Spanish artist Picasso, that aims to depict volume and space in new ways. In Cubist artworks, the subject matter is broken down into fragments of planes and cubes, presented in multiple perspectives. Some parts are flattened with no sense of depth, creating no distinction between foreground and background. Cubism also ignores naturalistic colors and proportions. This style is clearly seen in Ting's work. The painting is segmented into many rectangles, demarcated by the linear boundaries between different colors. These boundaries traverse both the figures and the background, thereby flattening the image and removing any sense of depth. These flat planes are further repeated by the rectangular shapes of batik cloth drying on the top left, as though their silhouettes have permeated the background, removing any sense of perspective. The figure's proportions are also stylized in a geometric and exaggerated style, similar to Picasso's stylized figures. As Ting is known to experiment with different aesthetics in order to breathe new life into batik art and elevate it to fine arts, fusing cubism is an excellent way of exploring new territories with the batik medium, for it is also known to flatten motifs and utilize geometric shapes to demarcate different patterns.